Hi all. Today in this session, we will check how to use a loop functionality, how to implement loop functionality in talent. So you might be aware that uh, what exactly is loop. So if we want to execute the same set of code multiple times, uh, so that we can, instead of writing the same code multiple times, we can just uh, iterate that into uh, a loop. Uh, for a special uh, for a set of uh, numbers for a set of iteration so we use that loop uh, in that case which where the same set of codes get executed multiple times based on some condition so that also we can implement in talent so let's see how we can implement the talent in talent we can implement the loop functionality so for that functionality we already have a, a component uh, that is t loop which you can get uh, find it in uh, orchestration so let's bring that t loop here in this designer let's check what all are the properties available so you can see here how we have two type of functionality uh, two uh, one is for loop and while, uh, one is while loop as uh, in other uh, as in other uh, programming languages you might be aware that uh, we have two type of loop one is for loop and one is while loop here also it provides the same set of functionality for and while loop so for a uh, for loop uh, let's see what all are the functionalities here as in normal uh, uh, programming languages we have for that variable is equal to one means from where it will start till where it will go and what is the step of increment or the decrement so for i equal to 1 in the normal programming language how we write for i equal to 1 i smaller uh, i smaller than 10 i plus plus or i plus 1 or i plus 2 that is a step so this is also available in this particular uh, uh, t loop component and let's check how the y okay before going to while so here you can see there is one more functionality here value are increasing so if you just click on this that means whatever the uh, from to two when the value will traverse from from to two it is in a increment uh, mode so if you just disabled it if you just disable this that means uh, the value will get uh, get uh, the value will be decreasing over the period of time while uh, traversing from uh, from this particular condition to this condition the value will be decreasing so we will check in detail how uh, this increasing and decreasing is working out now let's see how the while loop works so while loop is in other programming languages we first initialize a variable so here also we are initializing a variable that is a declaration section where i equal to zero and then in that condition while i is smaller than 10 a set of code will get executed and then we have the iteration that is the incremental value so after each iteration what will be how much value it will get incremented so like uh, first we are initializing it as i equal to zero then in while condition while i is smaller than 10 some set of code then i plus plus i plus plus means it will get incremented with one <coughs> If we want to dec uh, decrease the value, then we can write i minus minus as we implement in other programming languages as well. So let's see how this t loop can be used. So let's check what all are the functionalities, uh, how we can utilize this. So to check if it is working properly or not. So for each uh, for this t loop, we have some global variables. So we can see how the global variables are uh, getting changed when it is getting iterated to multiple times. So for that, I'll use T Java component. So I can use T Java component here. So uh, I'm using T Java component just to show how this uh, particular T loop works. So what is the functionality of this T Java component? We can write some uh, set of Java code here uh, in talent. Uh, we can write some set of Java code here. And uh, yeah, so I'll use here T Java component. And here I can, if you click on this T Java component and go to component, you will see what all are the codings, what all are the Java codes you can write here. 
here it is a sample uh, java code that is already there you can just edit it or modify as per your requirement so what i'll do i'll just uh, right click on this t loop then i'll uh, then go to row here you can see i have iterate in our last session what we have checked most of them we were using main but here we have iterate because the same set of code will get uh, iterated multiple times based on the condition or the loop so here we have iterate i'll just click on this iterate and connect it to t java okay so now let's see uh, how we can use t loop okay so let me remove this particular piece of uh, code so what i'll do i'll just uh, try to see how the uh, value gets changed for each set of loop so for this uh, let me show you i currently have for loop i'll just make it i equal to one i is smaller than five then step is one means i am incrementing one then two and three then four and then five nile as it is getting incremented i'll use value as values are increasing then i'll go to this java and i'll see how the values are getting changed so let me write the java code here I just want to print some value here. So I want to see what is the current iteration number uh, whenever we are executing this, what is the current number of iteration? So I have made it in double quote. Uh, System.out.println means it will print the uh, uh, that message in our run output so i've written system dot out on print ln this is java code and uh, what i'm what i'm trying to uh, print it is iteration number so i'll use a plus sign here after this double quote because i want to concatenate this iteration number with what exactly is the iteration number here so after this what i'll use i'll just click on control space if I click on control space, then what all are the functions or the variables available? I'll be getting it here. I want to use the global variables of T loop. So let's, if you scroll it, you can see there are three components. There are three variables. One is for each, uh, for this T loop, I it has three global variables. One is T iteration, one is T current value, and one is T error flag, error message. So what does T current iteration does? The T current iteration, uh, T loop current iteration holds the current iteration that it is uh, uh, traversing. What is the number of iteration? It, uh, what is the current number of iteration? Like one, then two, then three, then four, and so on. Current value, we, we have defined that uh, uh, I value rate in T loop. So what is the current value of that particular uh, I? So that is what uh, it will print. And what is what do you mean by error message? Error message will show wh while executing that particular loop, is there any error message or not? So as I'm trying to see what is the iteration number, I'll use current iteration. I'll just click on this. Then automatically it will come. Now let me uh, traverse through the other global variable for T loop. I'll write a similar set of code. Then I will again use control space. I will pull the value, current value. Just select that current value.
I want to see what is the error message. So I'll use control space and pull that global variable for T loop for error message. I'll select this. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what is the variable, uh, what is the value in T loop component. I'm using uh, for i equal to one, i should reach till five. Then step is one and the value is increasing. Now let's run this value and let's see how the data is coming. You can see there are five iterations and uh, iteration number is one. Then the value of i is one and there is no error message. So it is null. So first was the global variable. What is the iteration number? And second is the i variable that I am using for in for loop. That is the value. Now let me tweak some value in this i in this for loop. So what I'll do, I'll use i equal to one i uh till five then i'll make it step as two and the value is value are increasing means first the i value will be one then it will increment it to two means one plus two will be three then three plus two will be five so let's see how the data is coming Now you can see as we discussed uh, only three execution was there let's see what is the value so iteration number is one and the value of i is also one there is no error message so it is null while the second iteration the i value is getting changed to two, three and there is no error message during the third iteration the i value is getting changed to five now let's uh, do some more modification in this uh, uh, T loop. Let me try to decrease the value. Now the data is getting increased. Let me decrease the value. So let me make it five from I equal to five. I should go till one. And instead of step two, as I want to decrease, I can use minus two. And I need to just uncheck this particular value are increasing. So first the value for uh, i will be 5, then it will decrease by 2, means 5 minus 2 will be 3, then five minus two, uh, 3 minus 2 will be 1. Now let's run this. So basically three iterations will, should happen. Now you can see there are three iterations. Let's check. You can see here in the first iteration, the number of iteration for the first iteration, the number of uh, the value of i is 5. There is no error message. Mm -hmm. For the second iteration, the i value got changed to 3. And for the third iteration, the i value got changed to 1. So this is how the for loop is working in this t loop component. Now let's go to the while loop. So for that, what I'll do, I'll use this while for i equal to zero it is getting initialized to zero let me decrease the value to i smaller than five i plus plus means first the i value will be zero then one then two then three then four then when it goes to four when it uh, then five so when it goes to five the i value this condition will get uh, uh, will get uh, will not satisfy and it will come out of this loop now let me run this i plus plus means each time the i value will get increased to one now let's run this now you can see there are total five executions i'll you will see some differences here yeah so you can see the i the number of iteration is one then two then three then four then five but if you see the i value is always null null here is also null here is also null and here is also null 
so whenever i am using this particular uh, t loop with as a while loop i don't have that the functionality to use t current value now you can see i have selected while loop then let's see do what all are the variables i have for t loop component so what i'll do i'll just uh, click control space Let me use this control space. So basically what happens when I'm using while loop, this particular uh, um, variable is not available. So uh, while using uh, while loop, I, I, I can only access current iteration and error message. So that's why the current value is always null. That's why you can see my value is always null for value of y is always null. Now let's see what how we can decrease the value in while loop. So I'll make it i equal to 5, i greater than 1. Then if I want to decrease the value, I'll make it i minus minus. Now let's run this. Now you can see the uh, I have used the decreasing value in this loop i equal to 5 i uh, greater than uh, uh, 1 i minus minus and the iteration number is 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 because first i value is 5 then it got uh, decreased to uh, 4 3 two so up to four iteration when it goes to one the condition is not getting satisfied and it is exiting from the loop so this is how we can use t loop component so in this session we learned how to use t loop component and even we learned how to use t java component hope this session is helpful uh, please like and share the video if this session is uh, informative and subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you.